Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Saturday morning? <clears throat> well, I hope. As it is Saturday, we will eventually be getting to the immersive, a.k.a. No Face Cam horror stream. Uh, but in the meantime, um, till then, which we'll be starting a little early today. Uh, but uh, till then, I figured we, we can get some uh, Dark Souls 2 in. Yes, the Dark Souls 2. Um... I th I'm trying to remember, what do we get to? Oh, we're fighting the um, uh, congregation of some kind of dark wizard, druid-looking person. Um, I don't. I think we'll be fine. I don't think it's going to take me too many more tries. I think we got what through maybe about six or seven tries last stream, right at the end before we uh, had to call her quits. So hopefully, we're able to get through it today. I don't, I don't know why we wouldn't. It's, it's kind of RNG. It's just getting lucky that none of the crazy uh, one-shot kill wizard spells just instantly end our day, right? Despite my armors and such, uh, I just don't have much in the way of magic defense, apparently. Okay, it looks like everything's working. Still a little annoyed that time that the uh, mixer board decided it just didn't want to do its mixing job anymore. But yeah, I'm going to start uh, Bendy and Ink Machine just a little earlier uh, this week. Uh, instead of 3, I'm going to start it at 2. Just some, some stuff I have to do afterward. And I need a little bit extra time. So I figure a couple hours of Bendy, a couple hours, of, or uh, a couple hours of Dark Souls, and a couple hours of Bendy. We should be good. And if we only got two chapters left of Bendy, we should probably be able to wrap those up today. So if I do finish early, I probably just call it a little early. Um... Because, I mean, we'll, we have the special, and I guess I, I'm going to make it official right now. Tomorrow, uh, I'll bring this up again later, but tomorrow we will be doing our first um, puzzle module play. I, I haven't come up with an official title for that day yet. Like, we have Action Tuesday, we have Tactical Thursday, but and then we've got, you know, uh, Immersive, a.k.a. No Face Cam Horror Stream Saturdays. Um... Maybe like a chill puzzle stream Sunday or something where we're just relaxing and playing puzzle stuff. Because a good thing about most puzzle things is that um, they're usually not super fast paced or anything. They're just like, hey, sit here, relax, figure out a puzzle, think about things. And I'm fine with that. After a long day of my uh, second job, you know, working at the grocery store... Just a pleasant day to just be able to sit around and do some wacky puzzles and chit chat with chat would would uh, be pretty nice. Being able to just hang out with some of the board members and, and play relaxing puzzle things sounds very good. Okay, I gotta remember all my buttons. I think we gotta run by all the spiders. There's two sets of spiders. I'm still curious if if there's a reason I should be trying to turn these like like these torches if like. The light scares the spiders away or something. Oh, they come in here. I thought, that, okay, well, uh, that was my mistake. My mistake, everybody. I, I didn't think they came in here. Hi, everybody. I'm back. You know, the jerk who's been trying to interrupt your whatever this is. Ow. Oh, I don't have any. I forgot I needed to buy life gems. Oh, this is bad. Ow. Okay. Okay, well that worked out at least. Oh my gosh, he does take a boatload of damage, so that's good. Stamina. Okay, he's down. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this guy as a necromancer or something, but Prowling Magnus. Ow. Okay, we almost one shot the the congregation. I'm not looking for the fact that the, I'm assuming something's going to respawn or there's a phase two. 
I wasn't sure how I'm gonna I was gonna target the guys on the ground. Okay. There we go. See if I don't have to rely on nothing but blocking, we're okay. Got him. Alright, is that it? With phase two. Oh, that was it. That was it. Okay. There's not even a phase two. Ow, we got a Titanite slab for that? That seems... Oh, all the spiders are still here. Hi, spiders. Hi. Hi. How's it going? We're gonna, we're gonna leave. <laughs> I'm not fighting all these spiders. Fighting those spiders is actually harder than that last boss fight. Oh, yeah. Now we're down here in the base of this valley desert area. Hello, random spider who decided to come out here. Oh, there you guys are. Okay. Chop. Chopping spiders. It's it's easier to chop a spider when it's the size of a, a pony. What are you scared of? You're a giant spider. Stop it. Yeah, it's easier to chop a, a, a spider when it's the size of a giant pony and not traditional, like, um, spider-sized. It's a give or take, really. You have to deal with the fact that it's a giant pony-sized spider. But also, you you know, but you get the benefit of it's much easier to chop with an axe. Oh, look. We're not done with the spiders yet, apparently. Oh, a Titanite monster. Um, will that kill me? I feel like that will probably kill me. Um, well, I mean, we already defeated the boss. What's... Let's fight another boss. Gravity. Oh, it didn't kill me. Oh my god. Also, apparently I can't attack down. And it got away because my character did not actually swing at it. Oh, that's frustrating. That one punches you right in the frustration button. Oh, right in the frustration button. All right, well, that's like, what, three or four of those has gotten away at this point, so. Oh, is this even of a door? <laughs> like, I think that's just called, when it's that badly busted, I think it's just called debris at that point. Oh, hello. Dang, that is a jumpy, jumpy spider. Man, so there was nothing in there. Weird. I'm going to close this door. Just in case, some more spiders later. Oh. I can't light my torch on that? Really? That seems overly selective. W what? Okay, what it? What is this? Who is this hardy boy of a, of a cabinet? What? They can break everything else but this one cabinet. Oh, charcoal pine resin. We can light our, our swords, our, our weapons on fire now. Man, I'm really disappointed I wasn't able to get that. No, oh, another free torch. To get that uh, sparkle bug. It sounds like there's another one here. Oh, yeah, there's another one here. Oh, I finally got one. Oh, it doesn't even give it to me. I still have to pick it up. There's a large Titanite chart and something else. Oh, you're a... S oh, this is what they're trying to do to me. They're trying to take over my corpse. Oh, gross. Oh, and they're much tougher this way. When they have their meat shield bodies, apparently, they are much tougher. Did they got it? Wait, did they get a dying attack off? Oh, that's messed up. Another... Oh, a Titanite chunk. See, this is why I'm still surprised we got a Titanite slab. We're still mostly getting chunks and, like, large pieces. I did not expect that that one boss fight to give me a slab. They must have really counted on that being a super hard fight or something. I mean, it was a little difficult, but it wasn't like, oh my god, what has even been happening difficult? Wait, can I, like, ride this up? I can't. Uh, okay, I think we're going to homeward bone out of this. Because I don't know where to go to get to a bonfire. And I have, like, boatloads of stuff on me. Uh, this? Yes. Use. 
Return to the last bonfire, yes. It sucks that we'll have to run through the spider cave again, but it's not that big a deal. Dead again. I assume that's like an insta-kill spell if you're facing off against someone who um, comes in hollowed to invade your, your play, I guess. It's the only thing I could think of. <laughs> I love how bored she looks. Mm hmm That's me. Seek souls. Large and more powerful souls. That's what I'm doing, yes. Seek the king. That is the only way. I don't know. the only way to what? Hmm, I see. Alright. Let's level up. Um, I think we did. Oh, I forgot to look up the adaptability thing. If I need to increase agility any more than 103, I can't remember if the recommended soft cap was 105 or 103. We're close to it either way, and my dodging has been fine. I don't think I'm going to be worried about it. What do we got? One, two, three. Got three levels worth here, huh? Um. Equipment load. I mean, if we're going to switch to a heavier weapon, we're going to probably need equipment load just for the armor. Not worried about that. Oh, this does increase it. Uh, wait. Oh, I would have not guessed that. I would have assumed that this like attention or whatever ATN is would increase cast speed makes sense. But I did not realize it's actually um, augmenting our agility also. Huh. So what does adaptability give us? It's poison resistance and poison bonus. Uh, but it also gives us poise, I guess, too. Hmm. Maybe we do... Yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll do a 2-2 two, two endurance, or a 2-1, two 2 in endurance, 1 in vigor. Call that even. And we'll go grab some uh, life gems. I mean, we can only get, what, three of them? But whatever. Uh, yeah, you. I knew I would be back also. Okay. Alright. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Oh my god. They, one of the, the guys at my uh, day job showed us this crazy... Th this weird little music video on YouTube. I don't even know if what the music video is called. Basically, the whole premise of the song is just like, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. And it's mostly talking about, or it's mostly showing older people um, going through, you know, weird situations in their lives. Like, trying to start dating again after being single for years and stuff. And <laughs> it's just the, the motivational speech of, there's nothing to it but to do it. Doing some kind of weird pelvic thrust dance the whole time. With a lot of the video imp implying that it's just talking about, like, elderly mating. And it's like, oh, well, that's... Mm, I don't know. It's a very strange video. Funny, and the, the catchphrase is very catchy. I will give them that. Oh, can I shut this behind me? Uh, I can. Look at that. Take that, spiders, and you're not having thumbs to be able to open doors. And that's a metal door. That's one of the doors that you can't break down with damage, so. All right. Okay, let's approach this from a way that isn't me flinging myself off a cliff. I mean, I wonder if, oh, the bugs do come back. Maybe I should fling myself off of a cliff. Uh, these decisions, though. Should I fling myself off of a cliff? Okay, so we got a spider. Soul of the Proud Knight, free money. It's very curious. No? Oh. Hmm. I don't know why. 
Ah, ah, oh my god, that is a lot of spiders, actually. What? What the heck? I did not expect that many spiders. Okay. Okay, so they mostly attack in a straight line. They don't have, like, tracking. Okay. Interesting. So I need to be bobbing and weaving left and right. Wait, one of these spiders just dropped a bandit axe. Excuse me, what? What? I can dual wield bandit axes? I can double represent my heritage? Oh, I don't have enough strength to... No, I can't power stance them. I can't power stance them. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. Might have to power stance our, the axes of our homeland, though. that there we go uh, are you oh free stuff wilted dusk herb interesting <laughs> turn around jerk i have to admit it's very satisfying to hit people with the uh the backstab on this maneuver and there's a spider there. Oh, it looks like we could drop down and go that way. That's where I probably was supposed to go. Oh, don't do this like that. No, 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 no. Oh, that's really bad for you. Don't do that. I don't know who told you it was okay to do it that way, but it's not. No, hit the stupid thing. Hit the... Okay, those two attacks just went right through that thing. There is something actively wrong with these little bugs. There's no reason I should not have been able to hit that. <sighs> okay, so we know that's a dead end. I don't need to go back in there. So I need to be going this way now. Okay. Was this a secret? No? I thought that would be a secret. No, no luck. Large tiny night shard, nice. Wait. Oh, up! Oh, they're firing. Oh, oh, lock on magics. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, these are explosive barrels. Oh, that's interesting. That's noted. Good to know. Uh, oh, I can't run up this. I thought I could run up that. Oh, hey, a bunch of spiders. Who would have guessed? Who guessed that would have been here? Here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Nope. Get the thing. Ah, butts. I hit the wrong button there. I was thinking of, of Elden Ring where you have to hit the other button and pick up items. Uh, at least we got the item, I guess, before I died. <laughs> uh. All right. So wait, what's the strength requirement on this? Um, this button? Oh, okay, so it needs an 18, so I would have to increase that by 9 to a 27, and I'm currently a 26. Oh, okay, so we just need one level to be actually able to uh, power stance the, uh, the dual bandit axes. That is such a random thing to have fallen off of a spider. I have no idea why bandit axes would have fallen off of a spider. That's so weird to me. Hi guys, how's it going? Because it'd be one thing if it like it had it had like random weapons stuck in its back or something, but the fact that it doesn't is is odd to me. That it, for no apparent reason it was dual it was wielding a a uh, bandit axe, which implies it has thumbs for grabbing onto axes. Which is its own separate problem, I think. But, you know, who am I? Okay, so I can... Okay, that just takes me to this. It's fine. Okay, we hit it once. It got away, and it fell, and now it's gone. Okay, well, so be it, I guess. 
Oh, man, it took it off. Oh. See, that's one thing Elden Ring did that I actually appreciated. If you run out of something, it doesn't pull it out of your 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 uh, um, quick slot. It just leaves it empty in there. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, that was a bit more of an intense jump than I meant to try to pull off there, but all right. I guess I gotta land on that and then jump over to that one. Dang, that's like a lot, actually. Like, low-key, a lot. Oh my god, that's a lot of fall damage. Is that a... Oh, oh, it's not a bonfire. It's not a bonfire. And we are in invaded by another bowman. I'm picking up random things. I can't tell what they are. It's a flame butterfly. All right. Uh... I think something just tried to chop me. Oh, it's this guy. He's here. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh, there's one of those, uh, the curse lizards is here. Who, ow. Oh, and a bunch of spiders. Okay, fun. Oh, look at that. So we've determined now that apparently the, um, so when you fire in, uh, the arrows, they actually appear behind you and then teleport in, kind of like how a spell works. Interesting. That's actually really good to know. Okay, invader vanished. This is getting super weird. I'm gonna pop one of these. Oh, he comes up out of the Royal Swordman armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he pops up out of the little, uh, I don't know, sand tremor thing there. I don't remember what that is. Oh, I guess this is not an actual treasure chest. I thought this would be something of a treasure chest, but I guess not. I guess this is also here to make you th think that there's a bonfire in here when there actually isn't, which is an interesting uh, choice on their part. All right. Um, oh, another door. Oh, it opens on the other side. All right. Oh, another spider. Oh, that one's a poisonous spider. Okay, we're just gonna kinda, oh, this is a dead end. Oh, that's really bad, actually. I did not know that was the situation I was getting into here. Oh, okay. So we do not want to actually be coming down here if we can avoid it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that magic went right through the door. That magic is polite enough to walk through a doorway. Which is super weird. Okay. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We've stabilized, I guess. I wouldn't say we're fine, because I still don't know where I'm actually needing to go. But there's also this red one of these over here. Oh! It just... Okay. It explodes. Oh, it explodes to reveal the inside of that area. Oh. Okay, then. Well, that was something. I'm still shocked that we haven't gotten another bonfire between this one and where I'm at now. If this is all seriously one giant run back to whatever, wherever we're headed, that's kind of a, oh, that might be too much. That might be a little unreasonable. I still like that we're dig they're they've dug out these what kind of appear to be buildings from Dark Souls 1 implying that there was some kind of collapse and it buried Dark Souls 1 buildings. Hi everybody. I also wonder if I t got a hold of one of their weapons if that actually would still have the um uh Death Blight, or whatever that is on them, the curse effect. All right. 
I'm assuming if I were to light these torches or sconces or whatever this kind of pedestal like this thing is, it would, um... Oh, the door actually blocked the, the hit. Okay, good. They're actually just locked out. Um, I'm assuming it would cause the spiders not to come into the room. That's my guess. Okay, so where am I actually supposed to be going? Oh, uh, what? I, I guess I just missed this. All right. Well, weird. But hey. Small victories. Somehow, yeah. Hmm. That's, that's real weird. I guess I just missed it? Or did I never actually go that way? No, I would have had to have gone that way at least once, right? Oh, you can drop down onto this. I don't know if that would work to getting us inside of there, though. Huh. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about that run back, so there's no reason to go back and light that torch now, so... I mean, whatever. I think there's one right here. Does that accomplish anything, though? Oh, maybe it scares these spiders away? Wait, will they follow me back up to the, the fire? See, this is one of those times where it turns out having some kind of ranged attack would be super useful, I think. Ow. Oh, up. Oh. Well, we'll take that, too. Oh, he did a... S okay, I guess they do have some kind of tracking. Uh, what? Oh, he's not dead? Okay, now he's dead. Oh, I'm out of life gems again, though. But... A butts, I say. A butts. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I restart? Maybe I like this just to see what happens. Since we're right here. I guess I'm here. I just want to know. We need to figure it out. It could be super cool. So, let me try it. I'm going to burn a few seconds of torch. Which we've got quite a bit of. Is this a weapon, by the way, or is it... Oh, it is a weapon. Okay, cool. Or is this area meant to be just so dark you can't even see the spiders? Is that what they're supposed to be referencing? Because it's pretty dark in here, but it's not, like, that dark. I mean, I do have the, the, the lighting turned up a little higher than what they, like, recommend or whatever, but... Not that much higher. Oh, okay, three hits to kill whatever these weird druids are. Or these weird, like, cl evil clerics. Oh, I wonder if I could get it from here? Oh, that is... That is... That's a something right there. Nope, too far! Too far! Out too far. It broke all my bones. All my bones are broken! Uh, they're all completely broken. Broken, broken, broken. All right. Uh, okay. So what do we got? Just spiders? Just a heaping, helping load of spiders? Okay. Um, there's a lot of spider here. Okay, so three R2s will... Oh my god! Oh my god, that lock on magic, though, is too strong. There's a door up there. I apparently cannot... Uh, oh, you came over here to get me. I don't care for that. Oh, that was a... You chose wrong friend. You chose poorly. How can I... Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. There's no way it recovered intact that fast. I call shenanigans on that nonsense. But... I did not mean to do a, a shield break maneuver there, but that's fine. 
Okay, are you... You do not appear to be a mimic. You could be trapped, but not a mimic. Oh, a Crescent Axe. And the Soul Vortex. Alright, so we got, I'm assuming, a spell. Um, hold on, let me check and see if I got anything new or different. Um, oh wait, what's this? Oh, Holy Water Urn, we had some of those. Oh, we got another one of these. Wait, why is a wilted one better than a twilight one? That's a little strange to me. But, I mean, whatever. Okay, and we got this crescent axe. A bronze great axe with a crescent-shaped blade. Its long handle gives the weapon great reach. One sense that this axe was once imbued with a sacred power, but only traces of it remain. Perhaps those who blessed this axe are no longer with us. So, in... I think it was Dark Souls 1, you can get a Crescent Axe, and it does have some weird, like, holy damage added to it. But obviously this is implying that that's no longer the situation. Um, it makes me wonder if... Well, um, wait, is it... How do I... Oh, I guess I can't... I guess I can't look at the information until I'm in the equipped screen does uh about what is that 35 more damage so that would be something um but i guess personally uh, of note is that the crescent axe is actually the weapon i used to, to, to finish uh, the original demon souls that's the weapon i ended up using was the crescent axe just because it's long reach and its moveset were actually really good in, in uh, demon souls Nowadays, no idea what it's going to be like in this. Wait. Uh, oh, Soul Vortex. One of the lost sorceries preserved only in the undead crypt. Maybe that's where we're at. Fires successive homing souls. Extremely difficult sorcery to evade, making it very effective against frisky foes. I don't like that description. Frisky. Um, uses one spell slot. It has four uses. Fireball? It's using, okay, that's just the basic homing soul mass. Soul is said to have been devised by a master sorcerer, but his name is long forgotten. This spell is influenced by one's intelligence. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, here's all of our Titanite. Haven't really been looking at this. There's our chunk. There's our slab. We have seven twinkling Titanite. Petrified Dragon Bone for special uh, equipment. Changes weapon to raw. Grants power of mundane to weapons. What? Power, power of the mundane. Cannot be used on shields. People do not look favorably on, on the banal, banal, but sometimes even the most mundane of objects can cast things in a mo more pleasant light. <laughs> uh, the Pale Stone removes power from equipment. I have nine of those. And Strength Rinse Pyromancy Flame. Oh, well, that's good to know. I guess I could do that. Pyromancy Flame serves as the catalyst for pyromancies and scales the strength of each spell according to its level. Fire is a common object of worship, and it can never be grasped, and its mystery st stokes the human imagination. It's true. It's a pretty good description of fire, which is what that is. Let's see, Titanite Slab. Um, Titanite was discovered in an ancient layer of earth and is said to be a gift of the gods. One of the original slabs that provided the world with all forms of Titanite. Titanite slabs were created to smith the weapon of the gods, or so the legend says. Um, gods, Titanite, this size is a tremendous power. It is a very rare find. And this size is very little power, but it's still a rare find. Only scarce few Titanite chunks in the world. We have three of them. All right. Oh, Twinkling Titanite. What cosmic event could have created such a powerful class of Titanite? Uh, commonly called dragon bone, but the veracity of the name is questionable. In any case, the petrified bone houses great power. This unusually hard titanite raises a weapon's physical attack power, but lowers strength and dexterity bonuses. Yeah, raw stone for a while was like super strong in um, Dark Souls 3. 
They ended up patching it a bit because it turns out you could get raw stone very quickly. So you, if you use the broadsword, which is a weapon you could get pretty fast, if you knew where it was at, you can get there pretty quickly, and put it, like put the raw effect on it. You could make it one of the best weapons in the whole whole module for some reason. Like right away and very easily. So they ended up. Um, I don't think they ever nerfed the broadsword, but they did end up nerfing raw a bit to make it. I think the, I think the general consensus was they made it a little too weak, but eh, if you want to throw it on to like, I guess if you're doing a magic build and you don't want to have to worry about uh, pulling from strength and dex and just have a, 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 a raw weapon mixed with your pure intelligence build or whatever, the raw stone would, would probably be fine. Alright, um, keys, oh yeah, I forgot about this, an ember, an ember that radiates dull light. The, an ember radiating a dull light. This flame seems nearly extinguished, but it exhibits an eerie resilience. Perhaps this is its ordinary state. I think this is one of those ones you're supposed to give to a smith, but I don't know. I haven't actually visited smiths very much. For better or for worse. I probably should start burning some of this titanite that I have so much of, but eh. I'm not that worried about it. Oh, I guess that was a one-way step. See, that's another one of those things that's very silly and very much something you put into a, a, a module, is that this this is a one-way step in, where in reality this would be something pretty easy to overcome and just go back the way you came. But now I'm stuck over here because of, you know, the nonsense. Oh, it looks like I'm on the other side of the... I am. I'm on the other side of this little uh, hole in the wall. I'm sure there's a term for that, but... Oh my god, come on. Why? Why all the spiders? I guess because these spiders steal bodies, so they hang out in crypts? Is that the premise? Hmm. That almost looks like it's meant to be something, but... Dang. It's good to know his solo-up attack after a dodge is, like, that big overhead chop. Um, I'm kind of low on healing, so I'm trying to mitigate damage. Oh, two free torches. Wow, our torch time is going to be very high right now. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have an hour and a half of torch time, so. Oh yeah, I was going to check out this crescent axe. It requires 14 decks, really? All right. So we have the, the strength for it, but we would need two levels of decks to be able to use it efficiently. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's just a big ol'... It actually looks more like something like an Executioner's Axe in reality. Oh, yeah, it's got some reach to it, though. Let's see, what do we got for... Oh, it does have... So, even with its huge reach, we still get the basic axe uh, move set. That's actually pretty crazy. It looks like it uses a bit more stamina, though, than our basic axe. Wow, that actually might be really good. See, now all they had to do is make the blade like five times larger, and then it's just a really super cool looking mega axe. Which I don't think we've really come across yet in this one. Because like the only big axe I think we've gotten... Oh, is this actually counts as a regular axe? Oh, okay, so we haven't even come across a great axe yet then. Oh, okay. I thought we had come across a great axe, but we have actually not come across a great axe yet. Oh, well, look at that. I thought this thing counted as a great axe because it was just so big and chonky, but no, no, I guess not. Hmm. All right. All right. So maybe we throw two points in or two uh two levels into uh decks and try to use a crescent axe. 
Obviously, it's not, you know, the weapon of our forefathers or whatever, but it's still probably a decent weapon in its own right. No, no, okay. I didn't want to fall down there yet. I wanted to get this first. Large Titanite shard, okay. I think he's attacking that chair to get it out of his way, but it's not really working very well. Is that guy standing in spikes to mine whatever that rock is? That seems not how things work. Don't you predator click at me. Don't you predator click at me, you jerk face, you jerk face spider. Oh, that broke off. Well, oh, it's one of those things. Oh. I don't, I don't care for you either, sir. <laughs> I got him. I got him stuck real good. But he feels like a fool. Too heavy to open. Okay, well, we'll do it the hard way then. Oh. What? It's apparently full of sand. Well, that was weird. But I guess here we are? Okay. Oh, is this... No, it's locked. Oh. That's not what I expected at all, actually. But all right. Huh. All right. That's a lot of ambush spiders. Just like a bunch of them. Oh, here he is. Oh, well, now you're dead. Um, okay, we're just back up here. So I guess we can go that way towards... What I have to assume is either a brand new, completely different area, or is in fact... A boss fight? Or there's a thing way over there. Hmm. At this point, I would kind of like to get to a... What one might call um, a bonfire, perhaps? Okay, so this was just the, this closed building. Okay, that's back in the other direction. That guy's dead. That was the locked door. Okay. Okay, so what are the chances of me going into that will kill me? I'm thinking if I fall into it, it will kill me. But if I walk into it from this other side, it won't kill me. Oh, yeah. This has got to be the spider god. Um, or like mama spider fight is what that is. Oh, so if you move in it, you just take damage. Not much, though. Oh, they're actually attacking me. I forgot that was an option. I forgot them attacking me was an option. Oh, good, it actually hurts them, too. Well, that's good, I suppose. Well, good for me, bad for them. Um. Hmm. Maybe I should just homeward bone out of this? I've only got like seven of them left, though, is the problem. Um. And I really don't want to go into that boss fight all messed up. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot these guys are like tougher than anything else I've fought so far for no reason. No, oh, that's fine. We'll save the Homeward Bone and we'll, we'll run back this way. It's interesting how little um, Dark Fog. How little of this place it feels like we've explored compared to where, like, compared to the progression we're, oh, I felt we're making. I find that very interesting. Really? We targeted that one. 
That's the one we decided to target, was the one behind us some, for some reason. Not the one in front of us, but the one behind us. And I'm already almost dead. How is that possible? Yeah, see, they have very little tracking ability. Okay, I'm gonna go fight this guy, and then we'll go back and just grab some life gems. Oh, you have a quick spell, apparently. I also find it interesting that those guys disappear. I'm not sure what that says about things, but... Oh, yeah, that seems to just kind of wander off into the distance. There's nothing over there. Huh. Makes me wonder if this little area right here in front of me is someplace we can actually get to, or if it's just for effect. Because that door looks like it's not meant to be opened, so I'm, I'm guessing that's just for effect. So that drops down, and then we could drop down onto that and get the stuff out of there. Hmm. Now right, let's go buy some life gems. I'm gonna need them. If we're going into that boss fight, I'm gonna need more than the four heals I've got for sure. I guess I could do a couple more runs of spiders before I left just to skip the extra loading screens, but that's not that big a deal. Now the debate mostly needs to come down to should I um, try to switch over to that Crescent Axe? Because dang, that thing has got some reach. I think in uh, in Demon Souls, the Crescent Axe, Axe the, Cres the Crescent Axe in Demon Souls, and I think Dark Souls One, both count as um, as a uh, pole arm halibut thing. I think, if I remember correctly, if I'm remembering correctly, those both count as um, uh, pole arms or halibuts. I guess. But yeah, I beat I beat Demon Souls with the the Crescent Axe. Um, wow! Really? You oh, you gotta dodge, do you? Do you, you little eight-legged jerk face? Don't you worry. When when I swear I'm not an elk gets here and we play uh, eight-legged freaks, I'm gonna. Murder all of your ancestry. All of your uh, des the descendants are going to be shot in the face with probably like a hand crossbow or something. And it'll be all your own fault. Do 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 do. Um. Okay. Can what's the range? Why isn't this working? Ugh. That's so infuriating, if you couldn't tell by the tone of my growling at it. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, how does one... Oh, I guess this way. Okay. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's an Estus Flask shard. Oh, okay, so it was totally worth coming here for that then. Okay. Really, the only thing that sucks now is there's no way for me to get back, really. Ow. Oh. Run, please. Awesome if that blocked the path and those guys couldn't get in here, but that's basically not how anything works. Okay, I think my. I think I left my souls over here. Okay. Wow. I disagree with that ruling, but that's fine. Was it up here, perhaps, then? Ah, it was up here.
All right, so now we've got like 14,000 of them, which is... Oh, it worked. A Tesladora man manchettes. That's a choice, I suppose. Okay, we can two hit them if we use the... And a faint stone. If we use the uh, heavy attacks, we can actually two hit those instead of three. Again, implying that the, the heavy attacks are kind of worth it. Okay, so if I want to fight these guys, I'm probably better off doing it by summoning them with like a throwing knife. Or we can completely whiff? There we go. Thank God. Oh, okay. So they're all coming. If you upset one, you upset the whole bunch. It's like the Mighty Ducks. You're not fighting one, you're fighting the whole squad. Ow. Okay. Okay, okay. Ow. No, we need to heal, please. Okay, okay. All right. So we did that. I'm not going to go in there and fight the boss yet. Just need to make our way over here. Oh, we are continuing to take damage. Okay. That's good to know. So it's just a damage over time field. That's very weird, actually. What a bizarre way to do that. I mean, visually, it's interesting. It's just... From a physics and mechanical standpoint, it's a very weird choice. Hmm. Okay, what are we at for... We need... Okay, we're probably just a little shy of another, another two levels that we need for the Crescent Axe. I can either do the Crescent Axe or I can dual wield... I can power stance... Um... Um, bandit axes. So we have kind of a choice to make there, I guess. Well, we can go get that extra excess shard, though. That would be nice. Really? We can't... We can chop it, but we can't roll through it. Okay. I find it very interesting how much of this is one way, by the way. This really is trying to, like, force you to... Um, commit to getting to this boss fight. No, I don't think there's any way we pull that off. Let's um, let's use another homeward bone, which we are starting to run out of. Like I said, yeah. I just really don't want to give up all this XP we've got right now. Like I said, we've got most of a of a, lo a two levels here. We'll kill a couple more spiders, and that should uh, lock in at least enough for two levels. Really? That got it? That... Oh, it doesn't have me sit at it. I don't sit at the thing. What? That is so bizarre. That is a bizarre choice. It resets everything, but it didn't count me as sitting at the bonfire. For the purposes of getting my healing flask and health back. Weird. That's so weird. What a bizarre choice that is. Alright, well. Alright. That's so strange. Alright, let's go. So it resets the universe, but it does not reset my health and stuff. That's very strange. That's got to be a limitation of, of the of the design or something. Like, there's no way to take you to a bonfire like that without resetting the universe. So they have to reset the universe. They just don't have to reset you. That's the only way that makes any amount of sense. Yeah? Yeah, let's upgrade the Estus Flask. 
See, whenever it has an option like that, like, are you sure? It always makes me feel like I'm being set up for something. It's like, are you sure you want to do that? Later on, you can actually get triple the reward if you wait until you meet the better level up person. It's like, eh, I don't know. Why must you tempt me with things I want? Oh, a sultry saltine, welcome. Been farming magma sword and Elden Ring kill me. Yeah, isn't that a, that's a pretty rare drop, my friend. I hope you hate snakes. Because if you like snakes a lot, that's going to make it even worse. Are you, are, is there, are you just trying to collect every weapon? Or are you trying to do a special build? Or what's the purpose for the farming? And I think you can only farm, what, like three different snakes that actually have a chance of dropping that? In kind of a, a butt area to get to? But how have you been doing, uh, Salty Saltine, otherwise? I, I, I hope well. Hopefully the, uh, the medical field and the, and the children's have, have not bothered you too much. You've been keeping your sanity. Okay, so do we do the double decks and use the Crescent Axe? How do we do that for now and then save the strength requirement thing? Uh, we'll, we'll try the Crescent Axe. As long as we're using an axe, we're okay. Maybe this is a waste of a couple levels, but that's okay. Let's check out this Crescent Axe. Because, I mean, it does more damage. And it actually has... Wait, what? Oh, it actually has deck scaling, whereas our Bandit Axe does not have deck scaling. Interesting. And it technically has some... Um, what is that? Faith? I can never remember what the little those little icons indicate. Um, intelligence scaling and it has a little bit of intelligence scaling which is weird because it says it has like holy damage which is usually faith so it should actually probably have faith scaling and not intelligence yeah influence of intelligence on magic attack weird just farming for the sake of farming I want two of every weapon that can get two of oh okay in one playthrough you mean yeah that's fair. Oh, but we are overweight. We are well over the heavy limit with this axe. Wait. What? Or, oh, I guess not? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yes, yes. We're well over the heavy weight with the crescent axe. E? Okay, cool. That's fair. Man, good luck with some of that. I tried to do a build. I, I, tried, I was trying to get some of the rare... Uh, weapons from some of the skeletons the executioner axe i think is what it's called good luck with that that was such a pain in the butt like there's no good spots to really like farm them unfortunately the module won't let you have two giant red braids it's rude well so wait can you not mimic can you not go to the walking mausoleum and get a second giant soul and then Turn it in for a second red braid? Is that really against the rules? or some kind of, like, hard lock against that? That seems unfortunate. Oh, the Royal Sword Swordman Armor. Wait, didn't we get... Oh, we have a second one of those now. Oh. Hmm. Peasant attire? Let's see. Actually, we might be able to go with... We might be able to go with this and then maybe go with slider gloves. Since these gloves are actually pretty heavy. Okay, that's still not bad. That's uh, less armor, but it takes us low enough that we should be okay. I don't think there's any amount of... Oh, actually, this is... Uh, that would just go the other direction. Okay, we're probably... This is probably as solid as armor mixed with other stuff you can. Let's see. You can, but it won't let you make a second braid. You can make the spell again, though. That's so lame! What a bizarre choice that is. I wonder why that is. What, like, what the balance mechanic is. Because, I mean, you can definitely dual-wield um, whips. So it seems strange that that would be the where they draw the line on that. Huh. 
All right, let's go try out this crescent axe. It is me again, Grandmama. Couldn't tell you because it's not even the best whip in the module. It's not. Isn't the um, isn't the House Laszlo one considered probably one of the best one because it does good damage and it has the blood build up and like crazy reach? I mean, you can't get the House Laszlo one until around that same area, which is pretty far in, but. All right, let's go beat up some spiders and see how this handles. Thorn Whip and Hoslo are are both better. Oh, okay. I didn't know about the Thorn one. I, I think I've seen the Thorn one around in one of my playthroughs. I picked that up, I think, but... And both are in the Mountaintop of Giants? Yeah. It's interesting that you have so many whips that don't show up until... You... Okay, first of all, you need to face the right direction. Um, but it's interesting that so many of the whips, there's only like, what, six or seven whips in the whole module? And the good ones don't show up until you're two-thirds of the way through everything? Feels like weird balancing, but, you know, what can you do? Oh my god. That's so much better against the spiders. Holy cow. Turn around, jerk. You're going down. Explosions. Explosions. <laughs> oh, God. What a... Just... I hit something with an axe. Explosions. What's his catchphrase? Catchphrase. What? Yeah, his catchphrase is catchphrase. That's kind of cool, right? No. No, it's not. Okay, so a salty. Oh wait, wait, wait. Thorn whip is only dropped by one enemy in the in the module, and the fat fire monk right at the first bridge into the mountain. Four percent drop rate. Really? Wow. Huh. So there's only one enemy that drops that. Weird. Okay. So that's. Well, I guess that is like the only fat monk, right? Well, there no. There's one other one, but he doesn't. He's like in a. I think he's inside of one of the um what do you call it the mausoleums or whatever the heroes monument but I, I think he has a different weapon right oh my god the reach on this thing is absurd Ow. apparently it's not that absurd all right the other flyer monk uses the candlestick with the guy's head yes that's right that's where you get that that weird item yeah like, whatever that guy's name's head candlestick. And it's like, what? No, turn around, idiot. You're going down. Explosions! Okay. All right, cool. So, yeah, lighting that didn't really do us much good. It's weird. It's real strange. And we're just going to save up some money. <clears throat> And uh, go buy a bunch of life gems. So this is actually a pretty good area for farming. Oh, that actually had some decent tracking. And our character didn't turn around like I wanted. Okay. But uh, salty uh, saltine, or a sultry saltine, how do you feel? What is your overall take? I've been hearing this kind of a lot. I don't know if maybe it's just a, you know a counter to the get good mentality but how do you feel about that last third of the of the module like the the post more got um section do you think it's handled well for me that's probably my least favorite part just because it feels like so much of the stuff i'm dealing with at that point just kind of get cranks up cranked up to like an unfun amount of like hit points and damage and the things you're facing are just kind of not fun to deal with anymore. I, I understand that a part of that is just that they want to make you use your resources. So they have to make everything more difficult there so that you want to have a plus 25 weapon and stuff. But I don't know. I just feel like that part of the thing of stuff starts getting a little less fun for me. How do you feel about it? Um... 
We'll do one more run. We'll do one more run of the spiders and stuff, and then we'll go buy uh, life gems. I mean, we'll have most of a level, I think, but... It streamlined back to Dark Souls linear style. It, it made sense for a story purpose, but it took away from the openness of the early and mid. Yeah, that's true. That section is a little bit more straight straightforward. It definitely feels more like an, a classic Dark Souls 1 or kind of 3 area where there's just some side stuff, but you're mostly just going in a straight line to get all of the story relevant stuff anyway. Because, I mean, there's the some of the side stuff you can get. Like you're going to the Helg Tree and Castle Soul, but that really feels like the side area you would get from from a Dark Souls sort of thing. I, I understand that. That and I despise the horror Lux fight. It's a pretty brutal fight. You're not wrong. Um, I, I've I have shouted my concerns with that fight uh, into the ether on many many occasions. I think my biggest problem with it is. Um, his area of effect moves kind of are weird. Like, they don't feel defined enough to understand where it's going to hit and where it's not going to hit. You should know I'm going to be back, Grandma. You're the only one who sells me stuff I actually need, Grandma. Um. Oh, I bought all those already. Never mind. Um. Ooh, 22 of them. That should last us a little while, I would say. He shouldn't have a hundred different grapples. That's true. He does have a lot of weird grapple mechanics. Like, I like his... his Visually, I like the fight. It's just the way that they implemented some of the things is a little wonky. Like, uh, the one I think is the, the most egregious is when he does the axe stomp. Where he slams the axe in the ground and then he stomps on it. It does like, it does visually like a line, uh, like a, a line in line with him, like forward and backwards. But the side explosion is completely ill-defined on how far away you need to actually be to dodge it. And the timings are a little weird on when to understand to dodge. It's the same problem I have with, oh, the lava tier thing. The lava tier. Lava tier. I don't. I'm not sure what you're talking about on the lava tier. Lava tier. Lava tier. Lava tier. Lava tier? Where he cracks the ground in two directions and it blows up a few seconds later. Yes! Yes! Oh, lava tear! The lava tear thing. Yeah, that move. Yes, I was thinking that was tear like crying tears, but that's tear like I tore the paper in half. Okay. Yeah, the lava tear thing. That move is so weird and ill-defined, and I just... It has easily got to be my one of my least favorite things he does, because it does tons of damage. It's super hard to figure out exactly what it's going to do, and its dodging is, is very odd. Like, his ground pound when he, he goes into the horror Lux, Lux phase is... Oh yeah, he is um he is great at just obliterating summons instantaneously. All of his moves just have weird like super spins that just annihilate your summons. Like my favorite summon probably to use, generally speaking, is the um one of the earliest ones you get, it's the I was using the Nox twin summons. And that move would, like, two-shot them. Yeah, it, it does bonkers damage. It covers most of the screen, depending on where he's standing. Like, if he's standing right in the middle, I would say it would cover probably two-thirds of the screen going in both directions. Or the, the arena going, you know, at a plus ten. Yeah. It's just a really bonkers move. I understand, like... I think what they could probably do is maybe speed it up and then remove some of the explosion off of it, since... Visually, the explosion doesn't make a lot of sense with what's going on. And the amount of ground it covers is just insane, too. I don't know what it's for. I, I guess just to punish people who don't know what it is or can't get out of the way fast enough. It it's really weird. Like, his ground pound kind of has that same thing going on. 
Yeah, exactly. It should just be limited to the size of the crack. or sl If it's going to be larger than the crack, they need to visually and explain why what's going on there. Give it a visual representation of the edge of it so you understand what's happening. I have that problem with a lot of the... Uh, uh, a lot of the the um, area of effect spells and, and effects generally in in um, Elden Ring, but some of them like that are just so egregious that you cannot, for the love of you, figure out what is going on um, when they do the ground pounds and stuff. Some of the t uh, some of the dragons are like that too, where for no apparent reason. Oh, he falls in. You can't get the... Well, that sucks for me. That's incredibly frustrating that that's how that works. But all right. I guess that's how we are. I thought if he died, it would just give it to me. I forgot that even if stuff dies, you still have to go get the thing from them. Butts. Uh, let's see. I think I need to go this way. Ow. Ow. I had that issue with the Radagon's ground slam thing, too. I take huge damage when I'm nowhere near the light effect of it. Yeah. It's just so many of those area of effect things are, are ill-defined. I mean, the hit, the wonkiness of the hitboxes, I mean, I guess overall is a known issue. But it seems just so exaggerated on a lot of those, like, just slam into the ground fights. Or, uh, moves. That absolutely should not have hit me, but all right. Man, that, they really hide that door. They do not want you finding it too easily. Oh, I was invaded again, apparently. Where did you come from? I did not see it a notice on a, another invader. Thank you very much. Oh, it's the Forlorn Knight, who also has infinite poise, apparently. What? Hi, Forlorn Knight. How are you? Ooh, that was a that was a spicy meatball you just threw at me there, sir. Good, you're not smart enough to know you can attack through that. Oh. Okay. Well, that's another invader defeated in this same area. Yeah, I think for me personally, uh, the some of the dragons have some of the worst area of effect. We got another free human effigy from it. Great. But yeah, it has some of the worst area of effects um, not being displayed visually in any kind of way to understand what's actually happening to you. I wonder if I can use... Can I use... Oh, I can. Oh, wait, what's that noise? Oh, okay. It sounded like something walking around like it was going to attack me, but I don't see anything near me. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely one of those things that if I were to create a mod for Elden Ring, it would be fixed. Is I would either add a uh, visual effect to a lot of that ground pound stuff, like more rock or an actual physical debris... Or I would just trim them down to make them actually fit with the, with the, what the visuals actually show. Because as it stands, it, it just does a terrible job of representing um, the actual outline of those attacks. All right, so... All right, let's go try this... Let's go try this spider boss fight. Kind of tempted to see if I can't throw... 
Didn't I get one that lets me put fire onto it? There's poison resistance. Dark pine resin. Oh, yeah. Apply right hand. Apply fire to the right hand. Spiders, I would say, traditionally are uh, weak to fire. Yes. Let's try a... Um, let's try some pine resin on this thing for the boss fights. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird little dance you did there, uh, spider spider body. That was that was pretty adorable. Oh, oh, is this just a bunch of fighting spiders? I had assumed that this was a boss fight. Well, I guess I was wrong. Locked. Um, let's just pull the lever. Oh, it's an invade. It's a red, a red guy. And oh, that's where we need to go. Okay. Uh, I can't get ah, but. Huh, so yeah, there's a red miner guy in here, and and a bunch of spiders, and a spider body. Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, uh, a sultry saltine, have you seen any of the uh, YouTube videos of people modding themselves playing as the bosses? People playing as, um, like, the fire giant or as horror lux? Have you seen any of that stuff? It, the, the few videos I've seen have been nothing short of amazing, as far as I'm concerned. Ow. Oh, and that. <laughs> and dead. Oh, God. That was amazing. All right. Maybe we do try to make a run with the uh, the torch. We try to light some of that stuff up. Let's do it. I've got an hour and a half of torch. I might as well try, right? It's an absurdly long amount of time of torch. Oh, did it get... Oh, I got knocked off the thing. Go, go, go. Get up. Get up. Go, go, go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, I don't remember where I need to be going now. Speedrun strats. We're just gonna keep running. Uh, light. Oh, light it. Okay. Ow. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me real. It got me real good. It got me real good, Ben. Ben, I'm dying. Ben, you gotta get. Oh, Ben, you gotta tell my loved ones that I'm dying. My six wives and my four husbands. You gotta tell them I'm dying, Ben. Oh God. Okay. Well, that that I, I can't say that worked. It didn't work, but it was something to see. I'll I'll, I'll say that much. Oh, you. Wait, you have enhanced poise from casting spells. Oh, and it happened again. <laughs> Oh, these spiders. I want them all dead forever now. I want them all dead forever. And I could do that. I could fight them 12 times in a row or 15 times or 17 times or 19 times, depending on who you believe and what the actual truth is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, there is Oh no, there's no there's no fire torch in here. Dang, that machine gun. Ah. I guess I'm going to have to fight these spiders. I didn't think I was going to have to, but they've, li they've left me with no choice. I've tried to ignore them. I really did. Ooh, a cleric's parm. I bet that's delicious. I'll get a cleric's parm with, like, extra sauce. And it's got to be holy white sauce, right? Because, I mean, what else would you put on a cleric's porn but holy white sauce? 
Ow. He has some white sauce on a cleric parm. Oh, is this guy permanently dead now? Really? Wow, I would have not guessed we had killed that guy however many times we needed to kill him. All right, cool. Oh, that's a weird spot for a spider to hang out. Ow. Oh, come on. I thought that was going to hit this stupid little piece of wood there. On, it was part of whatever this structure was. <sighs> butts. Absolute butts. Say it together now. Absolutely butts. Absolutely butts. As you can see, I've been working on my singing career, and it's absolutely going nowhere still. So, how many of these spiders do I have left to kill, then? I would say I've killed these spiders as many times as I've killed that caster guy. Can you really knock that off? I really don't like you. Maybe I can just do this, then. We're just going to brute force these guys. I find it very funny that everyone hates the limited respawns of enemies for the purposes of not grinding XP. But man, it's actually real nice on these runbacks, I tell you what. Oh yeah, we actually apparently killed one spider. Okay, this, I don't know, this crescent axe is actually completely doing it for me right now. I'm appreciating what this this crescent axe has brought to the, to the, the party. See, I'm pretty sure that this also probably had a faith requirement at some point. Minimally. Oh, okay, good. We were literally just one kill different for, for those guys. Great. I wonder if there's a faster way down. Oh, I wonder if I could go that way? Hmm. I don't know. That feels like it might get me killed, but let's try this. Ah, uh, well, we took a little bit of damage, but that wasn't the worst damage we've ever taken. Let's light the torch, and then we need to get running. Oh, no, 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 don't fall in the... Oh, infinite sand trapped. Infinite sand trapped, everybody. Wait. Was that just the sound effects? That sounded like the sound effect of a, of a chest opening just went off. That's weird. That's, that's actually quite strange to me. Oh, we can actually just run that and make this jump? Oh, it's a large Titanite shard. Okay, cool. That's nifty. I appreciate that, actually. Ow. Oh god, you casters and your infinite whatevers. So many infinite castings. Alright. Oh wait. Oh I put the torch away. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm sure someone saw that too. Someone out there in the universe is gonna see that and be like. And the idiot forgot to light the torch. And I'm like, yep, I sure did. You sure are right. Um, happen, happen, Stansley, uh, 94. I sure did forget to light the torch. You're not wrong. Hi. I would like to climb up this ladder. I apparently cannot... Okay, so he actually physically blocks us from being able to get up the ladder. Even when it gives me the prompt and I hit the button and my character puts his weapons away, we can't go up the ladder. Okay, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, it's perfectly fine, everybody. Why wouldn't it be fine, hmm? Hmm? Why wouldn't it be? I guess using the life gem caused me to put my torch down? I, I guess that's what it had to have been. 
I don't know what else it... Oh, nope, missed it. You died. It's the only thing that would make this more amazing is if you fall into that thing like 10 times in a row, it actually teleports you to a secret area and you have like a little side area you can go into where you get like a Titanite slab or something. That's the only thing that would make that funnier to me is if there was actually a reason to throw yourself into that over and over again like that. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess we still do take damage. How do I... Wow, that is a very narrow gap to, like, run around. Oh, that gave me more damage than I was expecting, actually. Uh, I'm gonna die here. Yep. Son of a... Wow, they really do not want you to do run by this stuff uh, easily, apparently. At least not with, with the torch. Because, man, we did a lot of fall damage there. <laughs> My character's still one-handing this this axe because he was trying to get the torch out. That's really funny to me that they, they do that. Alright, so this is definitely the fastest way to get to where we're going. Oh. What? Hmm. How did I do that before, then? Somehow before I was able to just run over there, but it's not working now. How odd. How odd. Hmm. Ow, my legs! Oh. That is a weird moveset, actually, when you're one-handing it. That's a very odd moveset when you're one-handing this weapon. I actually do not care for that. I guess it's implying that I should use the art... Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, is there like a weird... Hmm. That's a really odd combo. Okay, so there's definitely a strategy to going this way. It's just figuring out... How... I guess if I jumped off of that? Hmm. I guess maybe I'm better off just landing on the top and going from there. But yeah, that is definitely the sound effect of like a door opening and shutting or a chest opening. Huh. I wonder what's causing that to happen. That's really interesting. Alright, well, we can just go this way, I guess. Do this. Ow. Ow. Ah! Man, this is giving me flashbacks to what is arguably... Well, I would say not even arguably. Like, is known to be the worst part of this whole module. We're not there yet, but boy, is it terrible. It's basically waste high water with multiple um, casters firing nonstop unlimited spells at you at full range in flat ground. It is, it is completely terrible, and it is a section we will just sprint through and hope for the best. So I have absolutely no desire to um, not do that. Oh, you are not dead. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Okay. What should be a super easy thing to do is, is turning into an absolute nightmare. Uh. At least we get to hear that mysterious door open close sound some more. I don't know, this weapon is weird. It has a higher base damage, or it's supposed to, but for some strange reason, it just does not seem to work out that way a lot. OK. 
Okay. No, no, no. Roll, you idiots. Uh, maybe I just try to uh, the bum rush it again. We eat the two spells that hit us and just try to make it through. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's just that also the fact that we can't heal or it puts our torch away and thus puts the torch out. That is really frustrating. And I can't come back as the other problem. I can't come back up here to relight the, the torch. I guess it's, we got that one done. Maybe we just play it slow. We play it slow and we go over there and kill that one first and then we come kill this other one. Cause I mean, that's that's really where our, our problem is right now, right? Like. Like we do so much less damage to them for some reason. Which I don't understand why these guys seem to be more resilient to damage from this. I guess maybe because it has magic damage on it. It has that intelligent scaling and they're, they have a much higher resistance to the magic damage. Though I don't know if it even says that it has magic damage. Something hit us in there. What? That's real weird to me. Okay. okay, good. It's dead. All right. Oh, we got dark torches or trouches. Also, why did these spiders come out? I don't care for that. Dark trouches, whatever that means. the door. We don't put out the fire because we need the fire for this next part. We're just going to be over this way. Oh, you already sp spawned in. How odd. Okay, we light this. And I have no idea what that just accomplished. Oh, that was, that was a mighty blow you have there, friend. Get backstab though? Okay. Uh, can we attack the direct, correct direction, please? Thank you. Nope. No, this is going weird. I was really hoping this would stop the spiders from spawning altogether, but... Oh, he... He got hit, but it didn't... Stagger him for some reason. How odd. Okay, well that guy's dead then. That's good. Oh, he tried to hit me with his poison... Legs? I'm not sure what to call that, actually. Or... If he's trying to stab me with his poison legs, that would be... His fang legs? I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure what to think of there. That absolutely missed, but alright. Oh! Your dodge wasn't long enough, idiot! Also, I'm not sure what that guy was doing. He was just kind of randomly attacking a wall. Soul of a Hero and Gold Pine Resin. Nice. I think Gold Pine Resin is, uh... Um... Whole, is, uh, Faith damage? Oh, three Homeward Bones. Nice. We needed to replace the ones we lost. Or, I guess, used, not lost, but... Why is that guy okay to just stand in the light like that? Isn't the whole premise that they're scared of the light? Isn't that the whole reason we're doing... We lit that thing up? Ugh. Just follow your own rules. <laughs> Establish the rules that you put in place. Or use the rules that you established. Ugh. Oh, disagree. Hard disagree with that hitting me. That absolutely should not have hit me. Oh, 
what is this? Oh, are you kidding me? You're telling me there's this is the boss fight? No way. We went through all of that? We went through all of that for to get to another boss fight? That apparently has ads in it? Oh my god. Uh, this is odd? Wow, Flappy Penguin, welcome. Raiders, welcome. With 15 viewers. Wow, that's a big old mega raid. Flappy Penguin, welcome everybody. Uh, how how are we doing? What were we playing, Flappy Penguin? What super hard maxed out level difficulty thing were you doing? From what I understand, you really like to, to push the limits of, of difficulty. Among Us? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's the ultimate challenge because you're fighting other people, right? That's the, the, the god tier difficulty. Would you at least have fun? I assume if you're playing Among Us, you, you enjoy it. After Outlast 2 Insane Mode. Okay, so I'm I it's interesting that you bring up Outlast 2. My family owns a cabin um like 75 miles from where Outlast 2 takes place. Like the little houses that you go into and it has like one room or maybe two rooms and it's like a living room and a small bedroom. My family owns that kind of cabin in that part of of the of Arizona. I'm we are I have a cabin that is literally like 50 miles from the location that the Outlast 2 takes place. <laughs> you get a you should get a camera and then go stream Outlast 2 in real life. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. I probably do it closer to um um fall when it's not 110 outside. So, I mean, maybe Halloween special as I go walk around in the actual location of uh Outlast 2. I don't know how I set up a, a on-the-go rig, but that would be sweet. All right, I'll have to look up the map. Because I've only watched one person play Outlast 2. And they uh, it shows that map at the very beginning of where they're taking the helicopter to. And as soon as I saw that map, I went, Oh my god, my family owns a cabin in the middle of Outla or like where Outlast 2 takes place. And then I looked up exactly where, where my family's cabin is and where Outlast 2 takes place at the time, which was like years ago. I'm like, oh, that's like 50 miles apart. Yeah, I guess I could like my I could just go there. So I could go do IRL uh, Outlast 2. I mean, I'm assuming it's probably just in the middle of like the desert. At best, it would be. Um, maybe some kind of old abandoned town or something, but I'm assuming it's probably just the middle of like the 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 high desert area. But how? So have you played Outlast without the extreme difficulty, or are you playing it only with extreme difficulty? Because, I mean, either way, I, I commend G on, on playing it difficult. Yeah, you beat it on Nightmare, so now you're back for insane mode. Okay, well, good for you. Are you a fan of it, or is it something you just like running through because it's it's easy, easy or, or what? Because I've only ever seen someone play through it, like, once or twice, and they, they didn't care for it, so I've never really gotten to see much of the story past... I think it's after you get out of, like, that initial church or whatever. Outlast 2 is both harder than and worse than Outlast 1. Well, that was the what the, the person I watched play it also felt, was that it was harder and much less fun because uh, with Outlast 1, they felt that the curated experience of kind of the corridors and stuff was much more fun than the openness of uh, Outlast 2. Um, I guess we're just going to go into this boss fight, eh? We're just going into this boss fight, eh? Oh, these guys are just running over here to attack me when I'm absolutely not the main threat. Not even close to the main threat. Oh, I can't actually go that way, even though I literally only need to bow my head slightly to be able to walk over here, and they won't let me. All right, fun. I guess I was supposed to drop down on the top of this? 
Oh, okay, so there's the boss fight. Hi, everybody. How we doing? A simpleton something. I didn't see what it's what it was. It was just a simpleton something. Simpleton spice. Ah, okay. Thank you. Turns out when you're being attacked by, um, like, five spiders the size of a pony and three madmen trying to hit you with flaming torches, it's kind of hard to, like, read a little dialogue that pops up. I appreciate you helping me out there, Flappy Penguin. Okay, so I have a question about Among Us. Now, is it... It's, it's traditionally done with friends, correct? Wow, that was... That was the best targeting I've ever seen a spire have. Um, but is there, like, just random pickup and plays of it? Okay. Giant spider fight, I'm assuming? Yeah, friends or random. Okay, so you can play with randoms. There are, like... So you just, like, join random? Or, or is it actually more geared towards if you just play it, you're usually with randoms? Because I feel like every time I've seen somebody play it, it's always um, with friends. Oh, there's Big Mama Spider now. Look at her face. It's gross. Just more fun with friends, yeah. I feel like you 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 have a really high chance to run into like serious toxicity if you're playing with randos. And I don't know how I feel about about that. Oh. The Duke's Dear Freja. Okay. Uh, I don't know where your weak spots are. Ow, and I'm just getting beat up by spiders right now. And that's not fun for me. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, we are in the... Oh, we are below the body of a great dragon. I assume they probably used the body of the great dragon to feed the, the babies, and that's why everything's so big. That's probably a lore thing somewhere, right? God, what a run back this is. All right, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Well, Flappity Penguin, what do you got planned for the rest of your day? Anything super fun? He's going to relax on a, a pleasant Saturday? Woo. Oh, wait. This is the direction I need to be going. What time is it? Okay, almost 1 o'clock. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> Still, the weird little wiggly dance when the Spider-Man drops down is very fun to me. Okay, are you guys going to spawn? Are you... Yep, you spawn as normal. How unbelievably frustrating that is. I mean, it's nice that... Really? That counts as a hit? Dang. I disagree, but all right. Wow. Man, their ability to attack through each other really benefits these spiders and their giant poison legs. Zane bad stalking me? I mean, technically, he was here first on this one, Ikka. I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to blame the victim, but in this case, I, I he was here first, I think. Let's see. I'm just going to watch your stream and then play Thia, Thia Messiah, a new souls like. I think I've seen some uh uh actual ads for Thia Messiahs. It looked interesting. It looked like it's kind of meant to be more like a uh, Bloodborne, a little bit faster pace. I was just lurking in chat on my drive home. Oh, okay. It shouldn't show up a few minutes into my drive. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, however you guys, yeah, however you all want to break it down, that's fine. <laughs> and then there's this jerk. Look at him and his jerkiness. Just being a giant undead jerk. Oh, more spiders spawned. I thought we were done with the spiders, but I guess you can never really be done with spiders, right? Since they're always within six feet of you, or whatever that dumb urban legend says about spiders. And at any given moment in your home, you're probably within six feet of a spider. But yeah, you gotta let me know how, uh, um, Thaimaya, Thaim, 
Dimiza? Dimesia? Dimesia is? Um, it looks pretty cool. Like, definitely maybe not the, the polish of Bloodborne, but... Um, the, the right kind of, like, style of Bloodborne. Dang. One shot of that bad boy. It's very good. It's good so far. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. It always sucks when you find something that's like a Souls-like, and then it's like, oh, yeah, no, this is actually hot garbage. It's like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Did you ever play, um, what is it? Oh, like, I can't remember what it's called now. It's it's set in the uh, God Eater universe where you play basically vampires. It's more Bloodborne, Sekiro, DMC. Yeah, it looked like it had a very fast pace to it compared to like a Dark Souls or an Elden Ring. Though Elden Ring did have a little bit faster pace than, than to most of the Dark Souls stuff. Oh, maybe I drop down here instead? Oh, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Man, this is such a run back for a boss. Okay. Well, I was gonna use the fire thing, but what's the point if I can't tell where the damage is supposed to go? Okay, it is just the face. All right. We're just supposed to be hitting it in the face, everybody. Remember that. This is just a dead edge. Okay. Oh, you have a, a death laser. Not traditionally something I would uh, attribute to a spider, but okay. I guess you are a spider who was birthed from the from the body of a dragon. So I guess you inherited breath weapons. Sure. Why not? There's no reason, I guess, you, a spider couldn't inherit breath weapons from eating the body of a dragon. Right? I mean, through the transitive properties of magic, that's how that works. It was just eating the dragon. It's not birthed from it. Oh, okay. See, I thought the implication there was that it was uh, birthed from the dragon. Like, it got put into the dragon, and then it emerged from the dragon, absorbed some of its powers in its, like, larval state. And then, um, is, uh, uh, like, still living there. Because, I mean, depending on what kind of spider it is, it can either use its, its mother's body as its uh, uh, nourishment, or it could, you know, be implanted into something else. It all just kind of depends. Like, this, I'm still not sure what to do here. Because there's, I feel like there should be a way to make this run not so difficult with me having to fight all these spiders every single time. Oh my god. No, just stop it. <laughs> stop it with all the nonsensical spiders. I'm assuming maybe it's, I need the key to that door. And that's what would have got, like, lets me bypass a lot of this. Luckily the reach on this axe is absurd. But this is definitely not the first time we found a door that would probably be super important if I had a key for it. Why are you trying to go in there? There's nothing in there for you, spider. Oh, hi. <laughs> I don't know what you were waiting for, but all right. Anybody else? No? We good? Everybody cool? All right, I'm going to fight this other spider guy now. At least his reach isn't super long. I appreciate that. Oh. Okay, so he does get a weird death attack. See, that's that's messed up. That's messed up, yo. No, 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 no. No, no death attacks. This isn't, you know... What was that move in, in Call of Duty where when you died, you dropped a frag grenade? It's not this. It's not what we're here about. Wait, do I need to go over there? Hold on. 
I mean, being able to go over there and needing to go over there are different things, but... Hmm. I guess I didn't need to go over here? I don't know. Oh, wait. Can I go this way? This is something different. No, no, it doesn't seem like it. The perk everyone used? A lot of people definitely used that for Call of Duty. You are not wrong, Ika. Oh, too far. I missed the edge. Not me? That's fair. Because, I mean, I know everyone... I remember everyone using Ninja because there was no reason not to use Ninja. You liked Painkiller? What did that one do? I do not remember now. God, this run back is still absurd. Maybe that room has a um, uh, a bonfire in it. It's the secret easy bonfire or something. Bonus HP on spawn. Oh, interesting. Also didn't use Ninja, I used Commando Pro. Oh. I think I remember Commando Pro being pretty decent. Like, I that, that sounds familiar. Now that I do, though I do not remember exactly what it does. All right, come on over, everybody. Let's get this giant mob fight. Let's play a uh, what's that? Um, Romance of the Three Kingdoms or whatever that's called. I don't remember what that style of, of module is actually called, but. I think it's Romance of the Three Kingdoms is the ones where you just fight like gigantic waves of 50 men at a time, right? Commando Pro was broken in OP. Extreme knife lunge range. Oh, it was that one. Yes, I do remember that becoming the, the trend for a while there. I do remember that, yes. Like uh, the, the dual wielding uh, lever action shotguns. I remember that too. And it just made you in like insane at close range. I do remember that, yes. Oh, I was trying to backstab him. But this controller is this controller does not have a, a good area for um Um like light push, I found. Like I barely move the can i get it okay there's walk and if i barely move it past that we start running it has a very narrow um light push on this controller that's the only thing i can think of that was really messing me up in jet force gemini and made it so insane to try to aim yeah i do remember the knife the knife uh range thing being pretty pretty crazy I haven't played the standard um, multiplayer mode in a long time. I was playing uh, Warzone quite a bit for a while there, but I just, I don't know. Oh, that, uh, apparently I can't walk on that. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm happy that that sticky spider web that slows you down when you walk on it is super slick and just threw me off of it like that. Great. Oh, fun. I mean, at least we found the rest of this, the run back that makes this a little bit less miserable, but like this area and we dodge the spells, just run past all these jerks and we open this door again. I'm actually excited now to play Eight-Legged Freaks from like 2002. Just so I get the opportunity to annihilate a bunch of giant spiders. There's got to be a faster way to do this. Hmm. I mean, I can try just bum rushing it, but this guy is so tough. And I can't climb up it. Ah, uh, there's just... 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Unless maybe I can use like a stealth ring to walk up behind the guy. I don't know if I, I think I have one stealth ring. Uh, I don't remember, what does this one do? Let's see, maximum HP, recovery speed, fallen foes. Oh, we do have one that gradually restores HP. Explodes at damage threshold, no. I guess I don't have a stealth one. I thought I had a stealth ring. Just kite him? Well, that's what I've been been doing. It just... With all the spiders, I don't know how well that's going to work. It's like kite him... You're usually supposed to kite him into a safe area. Not into, you know, an area full of very venomous spiders. Also... What? Where did I take damage? I'm already out of those 23 life gems we bought. Stupid life gem, life gem addiction. Life after life gem. It took me 17 levels to beat my life gem addiction. All right, let's try this. Come on out. Ow. You jerks and your ability to suddenly lock on so well. All right, everybody, come over here. Everyone over here. Ow. Please stop it. I humbly request you not do that anymore. Well, at least he's slow. Okay, well, we got it. We got that to work. Now I just got to make sure we don't, you know, fall off to the doom. <laughs> fall to our inevitable doom. Um... There's, hmm. Okay, yeah, you can go up there. Okay, that's where we fell and died. How am I, I guess I'm supposed to jump? Nope, I sure can't. Am I just not supposed to go down this way? I guess I'm just not supposed to go down this way. Okay. Ugh. I'm happy Elden Ring didn't have too many jumping puzzles. That would have been that would have been bad. There's basically just that one that's down in the the area behind uh what is it? Moog? The first time? The first time we fight Moog? That was like the only real extreme jumping puzzle, and I appreciate that. Hi, hi everybody. Come on, that's that's too much lock-on magic. There's no call for that. There's no call for that much lock-on magic. There's isn't. After this, we're going to have to grind some XP. Ow. Go cry. Buy more life gems. Oh, what? He turned around. I declare shenanigans. He turned around and saw me. There we go. God. All right, jerk. Come on. Stop taking your time. Ow. At least the climb speed's good. At least they weren't bad about that. It gave us good climb speed. It uses stamina, which is its own risk, and that's that's okay. Risk reward for that sort of thing is fine. So I guess I just have to go this way. It feels weird to do that, but whatever. Dead. Or I guess annoying that there's only one way down despite all these other paths, but whatever. Whatever, I guess. Dead. Oh, hi. Hi, 
Could you not? Oh, hi! I didn't expect you to come up here and get me like that, but all right. Oh, and if I fall off here, dead? No, not dead. Not dead! <laughs> At least not yet. Oh, I thought that would kill me, but not quite. All right, let's go. Let's go fight the spider now. It's very reminiscent of uh, Rom the, the space spider, actually, now that I think about it. I could see a, 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 nope, sideways is not good enough. I, man, this axe must use a lot more stamina than my old axe did. Oh, I didn't see the laser until the last second. Yeah, it feels like I'm gonna need to clean up the ads on this one. We'll clean up the ads. Oh, I need, uh... Hmm, I'm gonna need X, I'm gonna need to go get life gems. Go back this way and fight some spiders. I think most of these big, the spiders in this other room are still here, so. Because I think if we can clean up the ads and not die, we should be okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Disagree with that ruling. Well, disagree with that ruling a bit too, but... All right, so that gives us 1,700. We do that like three times. That'll give us more than the uh, like 10 life gems. That should be fine. Wait. Oh, it's just a big pile of bodies. Forgot what was lighting our way. It's just a big pile of bodies, everybody. Nothing to be concerned with. Oh man, I just, so. Wait, 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 wait. Flappy Penguin or, or whoever's here right now. Has anybody seen the videos of people modding Elden Ring so that you can play as the bosses? You can play as the Fire Giant. You can play as Horror Lux. You can just play as Melania. Has anybody seen this? Is that not fascinating that that's working at all? I was so excited the first time I saw that a video titled that. Like, you can play as the boss. I was like, oh my god. You could play as 40 socks. I, I don't know how well it works because some of the really big bosses can't go in places. But yeah, you could play in theory as some of the as as the great dragons and bosses and stuff. Yeah, you can live out your fantasy of being a Lord Dragon 40 socks. I'm very curious to see where they're going to go with the DLC for Elden Ring. Um, Because they have a lot of other stuff that they've, they've talked about working with in the universe that they could go check in on. And I'm very curious to see what they're going to actually choose. Yeah, I think it probably for, for which ones you can come down to, it just figure, depends on what the modders have decided as the ones they want to play as. But watching Horror Lux run around and, like, body slam everything, oof, that's, that's fun to watch. I tell you what. Because they were having a problem with uh, him not being able to body slam certain, certain enemies and stuff. Um... One of the videos I saw was titled, We Finally Figured Out How to Let Horror Lux Body Slam Everyone. Which is, mm, ooh, that's, that's good stuff. Another interesting thing I saw was adding, uh, like, a martial arts moveset to, um, 
one of the fist weapons. Uh, this go. Which would also it would also look pretty cool. But it was like high end like Matrix Kung Fu, not just like martial arts as instead of the normal punch animations. And uh it looks super high speed. Like probably too fast to be balanced or anything. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bonfire intensity. I forgot about that. Ow. Ow, my shins. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Maybe it's worth the fire on there just to kill the adds in one hit instead of two? Or maybe I should go level up this weapon. Why did I take extra fall damage there? That seemed higher than normal. I guess I could maybe use a, a, a human effigy and just become human. Maybe that would be better? <laughs> that little wiggle. Yeah, just being able to play as, like, uh, horror lux and run around, like, body slamming stuff, that'd be awesome. Um, um, some of the dragons would be cool. 40 Sax was the one, the, the, was he the one that had the crazy multi-head death laser thing? Or was that just the one that had the red lightning? I can never remember. There's so many dragons, and they all have really silly names. Oh, I thought this guy was, like, perma-dead. I was like, I don't think I've killed you nearly 12 times, or 15 times, or 17 times, or 19 times. The number of times required. I guess if I overhand it, we can kill him in one hit. So maybe I just R2 each one? God, I just wish this run back wasn't so long. For practicing. Oh. It dropped. Oh, it dropped a mail breaker. I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember either. Again, uh, this spider has dropped a bizarre random weapon that does not seem like something a spider should have. I love that there's just guys down here for some reason with torches. Wait, where is the... Oh, there's the boss door. Was in audio only, but when I fought 40 socks, yeah. I want to say it's the, the red lightning one, but I, I don't remember for sure. Oh. For some reason, that didn't one-shot this guy. Haven't quite figured out how that works. I, I think the only thing I can think of is maybe it has something to do with... Oh. Okay. Well, that was something. Laser? Ah, oh, it is the laser. Oh, wait. Do you have, like, an unarmored butt I can hit? Oh, you've got two faces. That's what it is. You've got two faces. How? Oh, he's got two faces, you see. Run, idiot. Run. So that's what it is. He's got two faces. Oh, he's doing the laser again. Run. Run, you fool. Run. Okay. Oh. Oh, you do have a you have a, a close range bite attack. Okay, and that makes sense. Spider with a bite attack makes sense to me. Being that's your primarily form of like consuming your prey, that makes sense actually. Okay. Oh, I Oh. oh, oh! I thought we dodged the laser. I thought I did it, but no, no luck. Okay, good. He always goes the other direction with the lasers. Ow. That's not how that should work, but all right. Okay. Okay. No, run, idiot, run. Okay. All right. All right. Now we just got to fight the main boss. Oh, but 
I didn't. Excuse me, what? Uh. Um. I need a. I need a judge to come over here and determine the actual hitbox on that laser beam. Cause, uh. I don't think I was anywhere near that. Um. Yeah, I need a judge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I did not expect that to get me over there. Okay. That, mm, yeah, um, calling some shenanigans on that one. I need to review the play. Uh, I mean, I get it recorded, so we can go back and watch that. Apparently, uh, that thing has some, uh, some heckin' heck hitbox on it. I guess, I guess it's his whole face and, like, his little mandible arms also get turned into hitboxes for the purposes of that, but, jeez. Oh, that's why it's taking me so long. I just realized that my shield's not equipped. That's why it's taking my stamina so long to come back. I didn't realize that. I forgot because we were doing all that stupid torch stuff earlier that it, it actually forced my shield to be de-equipped. I was wondering, I'm like, man, why is my stamina so low? Because it's not going up fast as it should be. Ah, okay, so I should land on the torch. That does, does cut down on the amount of fall damage I take there pretty significantly. Basically by half, which is good. See, that gives us a strategy for mitigating damage, and I like that. Still not sure why sometimes I can start run sp sprinting in the middle of stamina recovery, and then other times I can't. Alright. I just need you to come on out. No. Um, you're supposed to be scared of the fire. Do we forget? We forget how that works? What's funny is, I guess, in real life, the spiders should be able to climb up here and get me, right? But since in this they don't have thumbs, they can't use a ladder? Because there's absolutely no reason they shouldn't be able to climb on the, the wall to just come get me. I guess they could be, like, high fantasy spiders that don't work that way or something. Oh, hi. See, I don't understand why sometimes that does 280 damage and other times it only does 160. It's got to be effect of maybe, like, counter hitting them. And sometimes I'm interrupting the attack, which counts as a, a counter hit. Hmm. I wish I could get some consistency on that. That'd be nice. Just a little consistency is all I'm asking for. Not not too much. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit of the old consistency. Apparently that didn't count as a headshot? Okay. Uh, trying to remember. I'm trying to remember if this is one of the two-headed bosses where it actually pays off to just run around and just attack the other one while the first one is busy. I don't remember now. I mean, I remember coming up with a strategy with this when I beat this years ago on, like, PS3 or whatever, but... Did... Somehow that didn't count as an attack. I'm confused. Okay, well, disagree with that. I don't know where you went over there. Okay, that one hit. Oh, that is some reach on those mandibles, though. My goodness. Good for you, I guess. Oh, we're lasering. We're lasering. Uh, oh, there we go. 
All right, let's let the stamina come back up. Two hits. I love that it's it's two heads, but only one brain, apparently. Oh, the acid got me. I think it sprayed acid while it was ground pounding. Something you don't usually see. I'll take that. It's just one hit. Also, something slowed me down there, which was a little weird, but... Oh, laser. Death laser. Okay. Let me just move. Oh, it's jumping! It's a new, new thing. Oh. Whew. Oh. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, it's doing a death laser. Oh. I thought it was doing a death laser and raising up its other head, but no. No, not quite. Not that smart. Oh, disagree. Disagree on that ruling. Pretty sure the point of that dodge was to get out of the range of that, and I thought I was. I disagree with that also counting as a hit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're all right. Oh, okay, the laser should go the other direction. I wonder if it if it goes that high so it misses the, the spiders on the ground. Wait, did you spawn in? I didn't think that was an off. Oh. Okay, we actually managed to dodge the laser on that one. So yeah, this is very similar actually to the uh, um, Rom the Space Spider fight, weirdly. Nope, we missed. It's funny to me that the running R1 for this is a weird spinner attack. Dodge of the laser. Okay. Woo. Woo okay, we're fine. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, laser. Laser is laser is optimal. Somehow that didn't count as a hit. That also didn't count as a hit. Okay, that was a hit. And I got mandible for my pleasure. Okay. And laser, I think. Yep, laser. Is it, like, guarding its head now? Somehow none of those hit. And that bounced off its armored leg. And that leg pushed me out of attack range. Which is incredibly frustrating. And that bounced off. need you to make up your mind. Okay, we're doing a laser? No, not a laser. Okay. I'm gonna kill this last ad, since ads do not seem to be spawning back in. Oh, we got one. We got one! And the hitbox on this is super narrow. Well, that's why I preemptively drop that healing gem. Oh, I don't know what it's doing, but I'm getting out of the way. Oh! Okay, so that's... Oh! Wow, that almost got me. Nope. Heal. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use the thing. I'm gonna use a big heal. Oh. Wh what? I... Okay, I guess the spider hit me twice or something there. <sighs> okay. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to not use this sword, the or sword, this axe because 
It's so big that it hits the, the the legs more than it does actually the target, and then just bounces off. It's it's so unwieldy that I can't hit the small target that is the head. Let's go back to the bandit axe. Luckily, we did not commit a ton of upgrade, you know, resources to it or anything. So, and I'm basically out of life gems again. Great. Yeah, I guess it's just when it spits out the um, little, what looks like web balls, but I guess is actually eggs. I thought I was playing that slow enough and safe enough, but apparently not. Okay, I guess you're not that scared of the light. Not as scared as you probably should be. Okay. I mean, luckily the damage difference is, isn't too extreme. We can still kill these things in like two hits reliably. It's the only thing I can think of is either I'm counter hitting them or because the axe is so long, it's giving me the reduced damage for not hitting with the, the meatiest part of the axe, which is a thing in this is that you need to, to hit with the intended. Wow. I am just absolutely getting hosed here. All right, cool. Hey, you actually have to hit with the intended part of the weapon to do. Excuse me? You can all pull. You can pull me out of the required animation to go through one of these mist doors. Wow, that's absolutely busted. I had no idea that was a thing I was going to have to worry about. Wow, that's never happened to me. I don't even think that's happened to me in this this module. I'm pretty sure we, we've tanked through hits going into boss rooms in this module. Great, great, great. I am now out of uh, life gems. Fun. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was just... Mm. Dang. Dang. Didn't expect it. Did not expect that to be an issue. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, there is one spider in here for some reason. Okay. Well, good for him. Good for him for, like, living on his own and being independent other, other than the, the rest of these spiders. Who all require, like, safety in numbers and such. He's a, he's a spider on the edge, you see. Ow. Cool. No. <laughs> Going to the boss fight? No. No, you don't. Strong, independent spider. Yeah. You know, he lives on his own in this other room. He's sick of all these other spiders crowding his personal space. Just because he doesn't, he has eight legs doesn't mean he needs eight people's other legs in his face. He likes, he likes his own room and own space. He's not even a jerk about it. He's, like, not attacking me or anything. He's just hanging out in here. Also still odd to me, by the way, that this room was where the congregation and that, like, druid guy were hanging out and doing their stuff. Between that big mass of spiders and all of the rest of the spiders is this church where these people were doing their congregational meeting or whatever. Just... Out of nowhere, by the way. <laughs> it just feels very strange to me. Yeah, come on down so I can try to get some freaking XP so I can buy life gems. Ow. Thank you. He doesn't bend to peer pressure, no. He has eight strong legs, and they do not shake when confronted with peer pressure. Good for him. Mm. 
I'll do one more and then go grab. We're not going to be able to do this too many more times until these guys are all going to be dead. Which is going to be a problem. I'm trying to think if there's a different direction I could be going right now. I guess I could go back over to where all the iron golems were. And go in that direction some more. Because I think we didn't really finish that area out. I feel like there's still quite a bit to go in that direction that we haven't gone back to. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he's just a cool spider who likes to live on his own. Doesn't give in to peer pressure and doesn't attack people for no reason. Like, he's the kind of spider who I, I assume probably, like, only eats deer. It doesn't actually eat anything that's smaller than him, like a human. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, eh, humans are sentient. I'm not okay eating them. So it's like maybe the equivalent to a, uh, uh, a vegetarian or something from a human, but, like, it just makes him cool. kind of tempting to buy all these. I have 33 of them, by the way. <laughs> I did not realize I had that many um, uh, human effigies. <laughs> all right, let's, let's one more again this. Um, oh yeah, this just does lightning damage. I forgot about that. Be a vegan before he was cool? Yeah, exactly. What, I mean, what would we call a non-sempient, or sempient, a sentient eating, or no, sapient, sapient, right, Ica? I know you're very concerned about the right word for this. What, what's the term for not willing to eat a, sep, a sapient creature? Is there a term, like, it, it, you know, I, there's got to be one from science fiction where you have multiple creatures from different planets that are all sapient. And the unwillingness to eat a creature from another planet that's also sapient. We don't have one as far as I think. Okay. Wow. Ica. Ica. Friend. I, I'm going to... Well, board member. I'll call you board member to keep it, you know. No, we don't want to get too personal here. We have a chance right now, right here in, our, in front of our eyes to, to, like, invent a word that actually we could... Go back in time and ask our ancestors when there were Neanderthals around. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's got to be... If if there's really no word for this, I would be A, shocked, and B, super happy. Because that means, Ica, me and you right here, right now, can work on developing the word, the term. That means it someone who is able to, but not willing to, eat another sapient uh, sa uh, creature. We've got Ica. We have a chance. We can put this this we can put this word into the universe. We can claim it right now, live on on the internet, and lock it down as the person who invented the term for the unwillingness of a creature who is sapient to eat another sapient creature. Like ev like going forward, if this word does not exist, every science fiction book that has two sapient creatures, well, can you use this word? High fantasy where you have like giants who could eat humans could use this word. If this word does not exist, we have a chance to get a word that will actually be super important to all of writing. Uh, all writing. Writing. Like we we stand at a precipice of 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 world importance right now. Ica, you you and me and anybody else who's here in this in this chat still. Flappity Penguin, if you're still here, of course, you can always chime in on this also. Like, that's that's the fun of a group project, right? Everyone is involved. So a vegetarian is a person who... So like a, a sep, sepitate... Like, okay, hold on. My tongue is not trained in the way of this word to make this a thing I can say. Sep, sapient? Sapientarian? Would it be sapientarian? A, a creature who is who is sapient but not willing to eat other sapient creatures? Would that be the terminology? Okay, this is not actually working much better. Well, like a... Oh, I guess you're right. You're right. Because a vegetarian only eats vegetables. 
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that is not how jumping works, actually. Oh, laser, 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 get out of the way of the laser. No, I got hit by the laser. I didn't put the freaking life gems onto my bar. Butts. Okay, yeah, you can take over. I missed somehow. I don't know how that was a miss, but... Wow, I have to be absolutely touching this thing to hit it with an axe. Okay, so this guy might actually be slightly resistant to magic damage. Oh god, that hit, that hit, me, real, hit me real hard. I'm real badly injured. Okay, we actually dodged that attack somehow. Nope. Okay, we dodged that attack somehow too. No. Get out of there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he did something weird. Oh, he's jumping away. Okay. Run, run from him. Well, not from him, towards him, so we can hit him in the face. A couple of times, a couple of good shots there. Oh my god, that counted as a hit. Oh my god, heal. No, not like this. No, get out of there. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I think he's summoning more spiders. Okay. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Get out of there. Oh, no! I. Oh, come on! Why is the iframes on this so narrow? I don't get it. I felt like I was behind those arms. I don't understand how that is counting as a hit. <sighs> Sapient free could work, like gluten free, but it feels a bit plain. Yeah, yeah, we need a little bit more of a, a, a little bit better than that. Because that, that's what you put on the on the packaging, right? Like, you put sapient free on the packaging. Because a person who, who doesn't eat gluten isn't, isn't just gluten free. That's like a packaging statement. We need the word for it. Like, it's, it's sapient free, sepietarian, you know, safe or something, right? Like... So, what's a, a vegan... Is a person who who doesn't eat anything from animals vegan? Uh, Sapatian? Sapatian? Would it be a sep septa Sapatian? That way, it's someone who does not eat sapes sapiens. Is that what it would be? I mean, obviously, we're using like English. Uh, as the basis for this, because I don't think... Well, I mean, Ika, you speak Japanese, right? Is there a... Well, I mean, I think you speak some Japanese. I don't want to assume too much, but there is, is there like a Japanese term for someone who is, is a vegetarian or, or a vegan? Oh, wait. Is this the one that just kills me if I... I don't know. We can go over this way. Or maybe I can't? Wait, what? But yeah, sapien free is definitely the term we put on the... On the... the. Oh man, I think I am dead here. Really? Um, I don't know if... Well, I might be able to roll to this one. Okay, we actually were able to roll to that one. Okay, cool. And then the boss fight door is over there. Of course, we can't get to it without going on the spider web. I don't know, but there should be. Okay, okay. I just feel like in all of science fiction, there's had to have been. Oh my God! You're killing! You're killing me! You're actually physically killing me! Oh my God! 
no, no. Why? Why is this what's happening now? Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. Stop it! This is so un pointless. Oh my god. Uh, well, at least we got a free torch out of the deal. No! Go through the... Oh my god! It started the boss fight. It started the boss fight. It started the boss fight. But we're not actually in the boss fight arena. Oh my god, he can fire the laser through the thing! Okay, can I... Can I go through it again? I can. I can not enter it again, and I got lasered before I got through the thing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Someone let FromSoft know that this is so busted. Absolutely 100% completely busted. Small blue blur. Or burr. Burr. Like, ooh, it's chilly. Burr. That's how messed up that is, by the way, everybody. So if you want to know how messed up is messed up, it's that messed up. That it will literally let you start the boss fight without being in the room and then interrupt you going into the room so that the boss fight starts without you being there. So on how messed is messed up, that's how messed up it is. It's that messed up, everybody. Ow, please. There's no reason for this to be this stupid. There isn't. There's no call for it. None. Absolutely none. I mean, my only other option is I literally come back here 12 times and kill all of them 12 times. Or 15 times, or 17 times, or 19 times. I don't know. One of these random numbers like that. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Oh! 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 Uh, it. Nope, no, hit him. Okay. Oh, there's four spiders here suddenly. Uh, please let me leave. Please just let me go. I have no interest in fighting any of you. Hey, we got through the door this time. Fun. Fun and insane. Oh, my face. My face. Oh, okay. You're gonna blue laser? Let's laser over there. Okay, a couple of hits. That's not too bad. I just wish I didn't have to be, like, touching the face for that to work. I wish I had a little bit more range. But even with that longer crescent axe, it did not seem to, uh... help enough. Oh, I thought the laser was about to come out of this end. Like, that's not how this should work. trigger him to do something so I can run to the other side. Ow. Ow. Life gem. Hey, you want to blue laser me, please? Nope. Ow. No! Oh! I'm so far away! God, it's so... Unbelievably slow. <sighs> I just don't know what the thought process on this was. I mean, look at this insane run back. I, I assume that one of these, like, locked doors that I can't get into, if I had the key for, is probably a actual bonfire to make this not miserable. But then I'd have to go and look it up on the internet because God forbid they make it in any way, shape, or form something that makes any kind of logical sense for me to figure out. Man, I... 
There's, there's, there's nobody who's, oh my god, are you kidding me? Really? You just, okay, well, dead again. He gets the curve in the air, everybody. Remember, when you jump in the air, it's totally possible to curve. <sighs> All these spiders also have bat wings. The best I can come up with is sentientarian to imply that you'd only eat sentient life instead of sapient life. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's not bad. Oh, okay. I could I could see that working out. Okay, so now you all you have to do is Google that term. Google sent sentientarian and Google that word and see if it exists already. Oh my god, the magic... Oh my god, that magic is absolutely busted. Yeah, all we have to do is Google Sentitarian, Sentitarian, and see if that word exists. And if it doesn't, we, we, we catchphrase it right now, and uh, it's official. I can't kill anybody of... of, of Internet fame and fortune. Uh, previous ranked um, Brawlhalla player. Okay, infinite stuns. Love it. Love infinite stuns. Invented the new word describing someone who will eat eat creatures, but not sentient creatures. Or sat sapient creatures. Hi. Thank you. And now you're officially like on a list, by the way, Ika, of like of writers who've invented words. Because not everyone's done that, by the way. Not every writer has, has invented a new word that is going to be used forever. So now all you have to do is write one short story with the term... There's nine results on Google? Oh man. Are they actually too... Like, writing? Or like, what's the... What's the... What's it actually resolved to for the, the Googling, though? Because that's definitely part of the importance. Just making sure that, like, that's not, they're not referring to something unrelated to the thing that you, you are talking about. Oh, you guys came all the way up here to get me. That's silly. That's actually just absurd. Please get through that, that wall. That's not how that works. You're, no part of your attack is actually hitting me. Ugh. Where are you going? Oh, and you're blue lasering. You and your stupid blue laser. Okay, great. Okay, now we just get away from it. What? What hit me? None of those things were doing attacks when I was over there. It's it's like it just did an invisible attack animation for no reason. Ah, that's so frustrating. Why am I getting slowed down? I don't, I don't understand. It, it attacked in the other direction. How does that get to hit me? I don't, this is why I'm so confused. These spider attacks don't make any sense. They attacked in the completely wrong direction. Oh my God, that didn't hit me. I'm very clearly in the dodge. Like right here, something is causing me to not be able to move with no explanation on what that could be. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't No, get away from me with the stupid blue laser garbage. Yeah, blue laser through your own body. That makes perfect logical sense. Like a scorpion can stab through its own body, right? 
Run! You have full stamina. Why are you just standing still? Stop it. These choices don't make any sense. Oh, now you decide to sprint. Okay, thanks. I'm sure. Some of it writing, some of it just some people thinking a, w a words using it for something. Oh, okay. Wow. We almost did it, Ika. We almost did it. Ow. Ow. That's not how anything works. You can't just randomly jump and then teleport to me. You can't suddenly just start having b bizarre, not functioning moves. Like the more I play this, the more broken every... Why am I just standing still? Why am I not doing anything there? I'm not moving, I'm not dodging, I'm not attacking. I'm, I'm pounding the dodge button. I don't understand what is happening. Ugh. Oh my God. It's like there's some kind of mechanic that's going off, but the animation is now busted and no longer plays or something. This is infuriating. This is like what we were talking about earlier with, with half of the AoEs in Elden Ring not having any visual effect to tell you that they go that far. You can't just have a visible attacks happening. It undermines the, the concept that, you know, we're using our eyes to play this. If you want to make this into a radio drama that somehow, you know, you react to, that's something interesting. That's not what this is. This is not a radio drama. Oh, that did not hit me. It didn't even come close to hitting me. Please, for the love of God, enough with the broken hitboxes and attacks and stuff. This is borderline offensively bad now. And there's got to be a way they can fix this, right? I understand that, you know, they, you know, they've moved on to bigger and better things, but you're telling me there's not one person they could grab. It's like an intern and be like, hey, adjust the hitboxes and all this completely broken stuff we left in Dark Souls 2. Like, I get that th this wasn't, you know, the head guy's baby or whatever, and this was the B team working on this. That's fine, but you still got to make it functional. And this is after the last update or whatever. It's still this bad. That's the insane part. God, I wonder what speed runs of this look like. I mean, they've just got to be kind of like a weird nightmare, right? Like, you just hope and pray that RNG doesn't like completely tank you like that, where your body is stuck on literally nothing but the air. For no apparent reason. So, am I walking in something? He just seems to start getting slow for no apparent reason. And the only thing I can think of is that he's... There's supposed to be webs or something on the ground that aren't showing up. But outside of that, I don't know why... Why he just suddenly starts, like, not being able to walk at full speed? Okay. It's good that that doesn't hit them, by the way. That it doesn't hit the little spiders when he does that. It's good for the little spiders, I guess. That didn't hit me, but alright. If you say so. Okay, I'm just going to get stunned to death because my character isn't going to do anything. Alright, fun. That didn't hit me, but alright, sure. Let's say it did. Let's say that hit me somehow. What an insane boss. Nothing but broken mechanics all around for this. Okay, yeah, blue laser. Blue laser over there. Okay. Yeah, it's something about it, like... 
moving around is now causing me to get... Oh, okay. Apparently it's just doing a berserker attack. Fun. Okay, blue lasering me. And that actually got to hit me, because this time, for no apparent reason, it got to turn at the beginning of the blue laser. Even though that's not a mechanic it's ever had the ability to do. Okay. Does not seem to be adding much damage, actually. I swear I've never seen this effect of it walking causing me to stumble before. That's that's a new mechanic I have never noticed before the fight before this one. Is it something like if the baby spiders are still around that actually gets applied? Oh, okay. Oh, it's just berserking again. Fun. Absolutely great. And he got to jump and turn around in 180 in the air. <sighs> and writing, it seems to be used like a more expansive version of humanitarian, although they probably meant to use sapience, since as I've said before, pretty much all animals could be argued as sentient. Right. Uh, okay, I guess we go grind XP. Fun. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this does do magic damage. Wait, why does this... Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I was looking at the... The Grime... The Grim Axe? Instead of the Crescent Axe when I was thinking this did more damage, but I guess it doesn't. Oh. That's weird. But okay... I mean, I guess we could try that. Oh, but it weighs so much more. So yeah, this thing is just resistant to... Oh, the halibut does just flat out more damage. A 175? 175 plus 64. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, this halberd does, like, just drastically more damage. Weird. All right, let's try a halberd out. Let's give it a halberd run. Wow, triple spin. Not even a double spin like the Crescent Axe. Makes me wonder now if there's another weapon in this that's more like the Crescent Axe from, from Dark Souls 1. Or, uh... Dark Souls 1 and, uh, Demon Souls. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. I'm not impressed yet. That actually seems like way less damage than... My... Axes I've been doing? Oh, I'm hitting them too close, so it's doing reduced damage. Oh. Okay. Okay, so this thing is going to be useless during the spider, bo the actual boss fight. Because hitting the thing is already a pain in the butt. It's going to be even more of a pain in the butt with... Um, the in in incredibly precise hitbox on this. Still blowing my mind that the starting bandit axe that we would have gotten if we had gone with like the uh I think the thief starting or whatever is like the best axe we've come across? Oh yeah, you can just multi-attack. Huh. Wow, at least it cleaned up this quick. Wait. That's not right. Where's the rest of the hit point? Or the X? Oh, the other ones are dead. We're already at the 12 or 15 or whatever maximum. Oh, my God. All right. Well, that's not good. That means I'm going to have to go someplace else to try to grind XP, which is sucks. <laughs> uh, well, let's see how many more... Um, 
If we can get above at least 3,000 for 10 life gems. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I, I must have just misread. Hold on, let me try something. Maybe it was like, this is how I was looking at it? So 140, it does scale better. 140 plus 83 is 223 or a, what is that, a 221? I'm going to be cover the one. 221 versus a 223, and it has the magic damage of 57 on top of it. So, yeah, I think the Crested Axe is still going to be better than our Bandit Axe. Even with just the, the scaling difference. Wow. All right. Weird. All right. How many of you spiders are actually left now? Two? Three. Three of you. Four. Four of you are left. Okay. See right there. That's another example of that weird reduced damage. All right. Let's go buy some life gems. This will get us 12. Ugh. Uh, we might have... Well, we'll go buy the life gems, and then we'll call it, and we'll wait for next time to do the, the actual boss fight. I was really hoping we would end this stream on that boss fight, but... We'll end, the, end this, this module on that boss fight for the day. We'll go buy life gems. I know, Grandma. I knew I'd be back too. Sepetarian ha Sepetarian has 20 results. Mainly seems to be a misspelling of sanitarian and one person Facebook post repeated across multiple Facebook versions. The top result, funny enough, seems to be a joke about someone only eating vegans. Huh. I don't know, Ica. We might have figured out a word here. All right. Well, as frustrating as that was, let's save and quit. <laughs>